this ain't gonna work. This video is part of a series where me and my dad take a 63 Corvair and a G-Body chassis and combine them together to create a hot rod. In this video, we're going to be focusing on rebuilding the air vents in the cowl. So I hope you stick around and I'll see you at the end of the video. Come on. Your dad was trying to help me weld the patch into place. Putting it in at the time was not pleasant because the other power tools firing on and off hurt my naked ears. After that, Dad removed some of the unnecessary bits from the old firewall. I'm not necessarily trying to body work here, I'm just flattening it out. So I think we're probably going to be a whole lot better off and easier off just cutting this section out. Pretty much everything below that seam we're probably going to end up cutting out anyways. We may want to just clean out this whole section here when we get to it. Because really we're only keeping this for, for locating right now. You know what I'm saying? Get this thing located in the car. And from there we'll make whatever adjustments we have to. Why is this loose? Did you bolt this up? You forget to tighten this up? You tightened it with my hands. Yeah, use a wrench. Get it cool. I don't know how much of that we're actually going to use, but it's semi-prepped. Okay. You want to get a chunk of cardboard in here? And we'll just do from here to here, because I think once we get to this corner here, this whole area is, is pretty much we're going to be coming off at a tangent to the wheel well, and then building this all as, as foot well. In theory, all we need is this for now, and then we'll figure out what we need to do as far as getting this closed up once we've got the foot wall built. From here to here. Okay. The distributor should come in about an inch below this. If I got it figured right, where that's sitting in relation to the top of the distributor in the colors. Now, deck height and Chevy might be a little different, but I don't think it's radically so. So. 
without shoving that engine in here and then you know doing all of that farting around to get it in and out and all that other jazz just to check the distributor. We're kind of eyeballing off of the one distributed you know G-body we've got in here. <laughs> Unfortunately it's a small block old, it's not a check. So that should give us the room we need. I think. And still give us at least some semblance of airflow through there. I think that'll work. But I think what we'll do once we get about to this point is we'll probably end up kind of coming across here, just straight down, or at a slight tangent, and then we'll build in from the four pans to whatever we built here. Because we don't have a heater box yet. We got no idea how much room we need for that. But we do know the exhaust is gonna be going through here. We're gonna need at least some of this section where that G-body was pulled back, you know, that four pan was pulled back. We're gonna need some of that room for the exhaust on this side. Things might start getting a little bit sticky as far as that goes. So we're gonna be tapering. I think we're gonna end up building something almost straight back from these and then over and then back out. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. Okay. It'll come clearer as we keep going here. Pretty much right now it's looking like all we're gonna use really out of that that firewall is probably the center section over the tunnel. We'll build to that, and then we'll probably build off of the, uh, the couple bosses there, the one for the steering column, for the throttle cable, and a couple other pieces, and that's where we'll locate our pedals and controls and whatnot off of that, and then just about everything else in here is gonna end up being fabricated, I think. So, yay! got a pretty good impression of the back if we can get that spotted in then we can clean up the front and fit it you know what I'm saying we'll do just like we did with this one and the other we'll get it close enough to spot it into place and then we'll come back and we'll start lemishing to get it down to a nice fit and then weld it in This thing will work. The template we just created was too small, so we had to go back and redo it. This is probably going to be our best option to minimize waste. Okay, that'll get us close enough that we can come in here with the grinder, I think, and the flap wheel. And we'll just start nibbling this back to the firewall yeah. until we've got a really close match. And we'll do just like we did on this piece and then just continue across, okay? that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked, please uh, comment and subscribe. And other than that, have a wonderful week.
and enjoy the weather because it's beautiful outside, at least where we are. Anyways, bye. Okay. Yeah, this little little hot bee got stuck in my finger while I was holding it. <laughs> but it didn't burn me like terrible, but it hurt me enough to sting. I saw it drop down. I thought it was going to be on my leg, but it was in my hand. Yeah, Amanda unwrapped it. She unwrapped it. So I hope you like it, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, nah. Looks not good.